Charles Anderson, and I had the privilege of being an adjunct professor of health education at the San Diego Community College District. I've been doing that for 22 years. During that time, I've also taught at other state and private institutions of higher education. I'm also a trustee elected to the San Diego County Board of Education. I'm a board member of the California County Boards of Education and a member of the House of Delegates of the California School Board Association. Education is my life, my avocation. And when I hear the tragedies of these students being impacted by the overwhelming financial burden, it breaks my academic heart in a lot of ways. I am here today as a representative of the American Federation of Teachers and our 1.6 million members. I want to thank the department for the opportunity to speak today and to hear these comments from myself and others. Financial burdens of the types incurred when people are enrolled in colleges and technical or trade schools that do not have the best interest at heart of the student are a chronic disability for the recovering student. In looking at the possible remedies, the AFT supports your efforts to help these individuals get out from under an enormous and often a quality of life threatening burden. The AFT believes, to quote the Special Master's Report of 3 September 2015, to develop a system that is fair, transparent, and efficient. If the loan was originally made under fraudulent circumstances, on the part of the educational program, it should be discharged, period. Relief should be as broad-based and as easy to access as possible. The negotiated rulemaking should address all types of loans and regardless of when the loans were issued, as all loans are eligible for defense to repayment discharge. This includes the federal family education loans and the Perkins loans. Automatic group discharges should be granted where the evidence warrants it. Students should not have to apply on a case-by-case -case basis where there is documented systemic wrongdoing on the part of the educational program. If the DTR authority cannot offer the broadest relief, the Department of Education should add other authorities to the negotiated rulemaking agenda. And finally, the federal DTR standards should not preempt any stronger state law. These issues have adversely impacted too many students for too long. The American Federation of Teachers encourages the Department of Education to proceed as fast as bureaucratically possible to allow these people to achieve a quality of life without the overwhelming financial burden that has been incurred. Thank you.